uh, let us do let us graph this equation uh, where we have got all the four letters of the general formula any sine graph has this general formula y is equal to a sine bx plus c plus t so this is general formula so a is the amplitude a is the coefficient of x and the coefficient of x sorry coefficient of sine is 4 so the amplitude of this graph is 4 okay b tells me the period so what is b here b is 5 so let me write b what is c c is negative 10 and b is 7 okay now this d tells you the baseline so this will be your baseline okay now period is 360 or 2 pi divided by b now we're going to do this in degrees so i'll ignore this 2 pi so this is 360 divided by 5 okay and 360 divided by 5 is same as 7 720 divided by 10 which is 72 okay so the p period is 72 now pitch or step or whatever you call this is whenever you draw a sine graph you need four steps so i'm saying okay the pitch would be the pitch or the step or the scale whatever you call it divided by four which is 36 divided by two which is 18. so we'll go at a step of 18. okay now this is difficult now this this tells me this tells you whether the sign graph moves to the right or left. This tells me whether the sign graph goes up or down. And this tells me whether it goes to the right or left. Now, minus 10 tells me the sign graph, the basic sign graph, has moved to the right. Now, how much? We have to do a little of working here. Now, you know a sign graph. Let me go. Let me show you some, some, some of the sign graph that we have drawn. In the previous videos if you have seen my previous video all the sign graph which didn't have the C started at zero okay, so the starting point of all these sign graph that we if you have seen my previous videos they started at zero so here we are saying okay so if every sign graph starts at zero let us set this equal to zero so I'll write a step like this starting point okay so we'll decide the starting for for previous uh, when you don't have C the starting point is zero whereas here there is a transformation here the sign graph has moved to the right I'll show you how it's moved to the right so let me set this equal to zero if you set 5x minus 10 is equal to zero uh, so you can say 5x is equal to 10 so x is equal to 2 so your sign graph starts at 2 okay so that's very important so let me draw the axis okay now before that we need to decide maximum and minimum so what's your maximum so i'll write it here maximum is um, baseline plus amplitude plus amplitude so baseline is seven plus your amplitude which is four which is eleven and your minimum is baseline minus amplitude you can uh, this is very logical you can see my previous videos to understand this so this is a formula you can remember this as a formula 7 minus 4 which is 3 so these are the five important facts that you need to know or six in fact so this is the amplitude the second thing is your baseline that is 2 okay then you need the period which is 3 this is 4 maximum, this is 5, and this is 6, which is a starting point. So if you know these points or these crucial facts, you can draw the sine graph. So let us draw it. So this is your y-axis. I can draw that lead better. So this is y-axis. This is my x-axis. So let me label it. So this is my y, and this is my x. So I know the maximum is 11, so I'll show, I'll draw a baseline by yellow. So baseline is 5, so 
or it is supposed not drawn to scale don't you don't have to draw exact scale so this is phi that's your baseline and then you have got your maximum at 11 so let us say this is 11 maximum and your minimum is 3 so this is 3 see so this is 3 okay now uh, yeah uh, okay so let me label it so this is my maximum this is this is maximum this is baseline this is minimum okay now starting you start at 2 so this is again not drawn to scale this is 0 okay so this is 0 so it's roughly say can we say this is 2 now from 2 we have to go uh, at a step of what was the step the step of 18 so 2 plus 18 is say this is step of 18 this is 20 2 plus 18 is 20 okay and 20 plus 18 is 38 okay 38 plus 18 is uh, 56 and 56 plus 18 is uh, 84 Okay, so just like that. So your sine graph starts, it, this is a positive sine graph. Your sine graph starts at your baseline. So let me use a green color for plotting the points. So at 2, this is your starting point. Your baseline, it starts at your baseline. Okay. And uh, then it goes to the maximum at 20. It reaches the maximum. Then it hits the baseline at 38 then reaches the minimum at 56 and comes back to the baseline at 84 okay now we need to so let us grab this first let me use say or no let me use a brown color so this is your sine graph okay so this is sine graph now here i'm extending this a little let me extend this a little and this a little we want to start so at if you go 18 to the left so 2 minus 18 is minus 16 so i don't i don't want to plot that but this sine graph if you extend this this will go somewhat like this just want to show you so this we need to show this point okay it's good to show the y-intercept so what's the y-intercept? The y-intercept is when, so let me show the working. So y-intercept, y-intercept, I'll show all of this in your calculator. The y-intercept you should know is when x is equal to 0. Okay, so let us put x is equal to 0 into this equation. So y is equal to 4 sine of if you put 0 here, this will become 0 minus 10, which is minus 10 plus 7. Now you can use your calculator. So this would be, so let me get a calculator. So that we are working in degrees. The first thing we need to dis, uh, check is whether it's in degrees. No, it's not in degrees, so change it in the degrees. Always check, even in exams, always check what is the setting of your degrees. Here we are working in degrees, so I change to my settings to degree so I want to find 4 sine of minus 10 plus 7 what's that value it's 6.3 okay it does make sense okay so I'm rounding to one decimal place so this is 6.3 so your sine graph intersects or your y intercept is 6.3 so let us graph it now okay so go to your graph menu and delete it and the equation was 4 sine bracket 5x minus 10 plus 7 okay and you need to look at your scale your scale I want from 0 to 84 so shift V window 0 to 84 uh, on a step of 18 or a scale of 18 here yeah. and I want to go the x from 0 to 
what is the maximum? Maximum was 11, isn't it? Maximum was, so you can go up to 12, scale of 2, and then draw it. Okay, can you see? So we'll check the y-intercept. So G sol y-intercept. So at when x is 0, y is 6.3. That's what we saw. That's what we got. Okay, so then again G sol and you find maxima. Okay, so maximum is at 20, 11. Okay. And G sol minimum should be at 56. Minimum is at 56, 3. So it's perfect. See you in the next video.